Welcome friends once again to another projector review. This one is from the brand Emoten and it's a 720p Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector featuring a unique design with mobile screen mirroring, Bluetooth audio and it also has a built-in phone holder. This is the Omoten C1 and in this review, we'll take a look at its unique design and connecting peripherals, its hardware specs and user interface, I'll test its Wi-Fi screen mirroring and Bluetooth audio features, and I'll also test its display quality, fan noise and built-in speaker, and you'll get to decide whether this projector is right for you. So stay tuned, that's up next. This is a native 720p projector. It has 8,500 lumens. Its display technology is LCD and its light source is LED. It has 43 and 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Its contrast ratio is 5,500 to 1. Its maximum projection size is 120 inches at a distance of 1 to 3 meters. It displays 4K H.265 videos. It has dual band Wi-Fi technology and Bluetooth 5.1. It has a built-in 5 watt speaker and its operating system is Linux. So this is what you get in your purchase. You have the C1 model. You get a remote control. 1 HDMI cable. It's AC power cable. A cable for the AV port. And a user manual. So if we have a look at the front, it has an IR sensor and a lens cover. This lens cover is made of a silicone type material and it provides an airtight protection for the glass coated lens. For connecting ports, you get dual HDMI inputs, two USB 2.0 ports, one VGA port, it has one AV port, a headphone jack, a rear facing IR sensor, a micro SD card slot and an LED power light. The USB port and the micro SD card slot is what you'll be using to read media from external storage devices such as flash drive, SD cards and external hard drives. To its left side, you'll find the AC power inlet and the intake vent with a dust filter. To its right, you'll find the exhaust vent and the built-in internal speaker. Its surface is where it gets a little innovative. You have your standard focus wheel adjustment and vertical keystone correction. You have your manual control buttons. And you have this silicone coated holder for your mobile phone while you are screen mirroring. And below this projector, you have two anti-skid rubber strips, a screw hole for mounting to a tripod or ceiling mount, and it has a screw type kickstand. So I'll now set this up and let's take a look at its user interface. Welcome back. So at 2.1 meters, which is approximately 7 feet from my projector screen, the C1 boots with an Emoten splash screen followed by its main menu. The main menu is easy to navigate from the left starting with the Android Cast and the Apple Cast screen mirroring feature. You have the media option. This is where you can access media from storage devices connected via its USB ports or via its AV port or SD card slot. You have input selector options. This is where you can select from its various input ports and it's also where you can configure its Bluetooth audio feature. And the last menu is the settings area where you have your picture mode settings, color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction, and zoom settings. You have sound options where you can select your song mode, adjust the balance, well, I guess seeing that it has one internal speaker, this should apply when connected via Bluetooth. You have auto volume adjustment and it has a wrong sound audio options. You have sleep timer settings. And under the settings area is where you can change your language. You can restore the factory default settings. You have screen orientation or screen rotation settings. You have OSD duration settings and you have software updates. The screen mirroring function, which is one of the highlights of this projector, is applied using the user-friendly method, where you simply select your preferred method, whether it be Android or iOS, and log into your home Wi-Fi network in the settings area. Then on the mirror settings is where you select your screen capture method, whether it's AirPlay or Miracast. Once selected, return to the mirror screen. Then on your mobile phone, open your Miracast application and scan for the projector. 
it will appear as a device to connect to. Select it and it will immediately pair itself and mirror your screen. As an added feature, the projector has a handy phone holder to secure your phone while mirroring. Even though this is a 720p projector, it can read and play 1080p videos from external storage devices connected to it. Once you connect a storage device to either its USB SD card or AV port, the option to select the medium from the settings area will become available. For a 1080p video test, I will connect my flash drive to one of its USB ports and play a 1080p video. The HD 1080p video played OK. However, if the video is encoded with digital surround sound formats, you will not get audio. So here I have connected an Android TV box via one of its HDMI ports and I will now play one high quality video to test its projection and sound quality. The projection display is ok enough for a 720p projector and if you didn't know you would assume that it's 1080p. Its built-in speaker is loud enough to fill a small 20 by 20 feet room. However, when set to SIRS surround sound audio, it starts to rattle depending on what media you're playing on it, so be mindful of that. And here is a bit of 3D gaming. Its Bluetooth feature only serves as a means of converting it into a Bluetooth speaker, which simply means you can connect your mobile devices to it and use it as a Bluetooth speaker. You cannot connect to other Bluetooth devices such as Bluetooth speakers or audio receivers. Its internal cooling fan is on the lower end of the noise spectrum, generating only between 45 and 46 decibels of fan noise. So viewers, there you have it. This was my review of the Amoten C1 720p Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector. This model is currently being sold on their website at an affordable price. See the link in the description below this video. You can also check out their 1080p model, the H1. I've also included a link to that model in the description. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving. Thanks goes out to Emoten Brand for sponsoring today's video and I urge you to check out their line of products using the link in the description below. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.